Yes, we talked to family today who are remembering Tammy Long this evening. This is where she lived, behind me here on Rayburn Road in Catanning, also where police say her life came to an end yesterday. And again, as we said, family members remembering her, thankful her alleged killer was caught, but also questioning how Robert Christman was able to escape. Shown here with her son Todd, 55 year old Tammy Long lived in this home along Rayburn Road in Catanning with her boyfriend Terry. It's also where police say she was murdered Thursday morning. I, I just can't believe it happened. Kanoi Hardaby lives next door and watched as the Long's truck was driven out of the driveway Thursday morning, minutes after the murder. Of course, at that point, neighbors didn't yet know Tammy had been killed. We didn't hear anything, but we only saw the vehicle leaving. The loss is the hardest for Tammy's family, for her son Todd and daughter Tara, who both have children of their own, according to Tammy's niece, Tammy Fetty, who is named after her aunt, the victim, Tammy Long. I couldn't believe it. I was really angry. I'm still angry about it. She was an amazing woman. She would do anything for anybody. And word is, Tammy Long let the suspect into her home, a friend of hers, at which point police say he brutally murdered her. I'm angry at him, but I'm also praying for him that he finds peace with God. That's what my aunt would also feel if she would have made it. Fetty says she can't sleep at night thinking of what happened Thursday to her aunt, questioning whether her death could have been prevented. I mean, if the guards would have done their jobs, I mean, they could have saved her life is honestly how I feel about it. Now, Fetty says the family's just thankful the suspect was caught and looking forward to when Robert Christman goes before the judge. I just want justice to be served and for him to hopefully, I mean, get the death penalty or life in prison. Now, Tammy's niece says that Tammy's son, Todd, is simply too torn up to talk about his mother's death at this point, but that he is extremely angry about what Robert Christman allegedly did. Reporting live in Armstrong County, Bo Berman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. I'm Bo